Quinnipiac men's ice hockey head coach Rand Pecknold. He'll begin with an opening statement, and then we'll be open to questions. You know, really happy with the with the effort tonight. I thought uh, I thought our battle level was great. Our uh, beat level was great. Uh, we really hunted the puck, uh, north, south, east, west. That was, I think that's a trait of uh, Quinnipiac. And keep talking about you know play to our identity and we'll get a reward. And, uh, uh, I, I thought we were confident all week. We, we had a good month of February, you know, and, and the, the, the team's been playing well. We just maybe not getting those all the results we wanted, but uh, had a good week of practice. And um, again, I, like stressing, you know, good habits. And I think with good habits, you, you do little things well, you get a little bit of confidence. And, Guys are making plays, and the keeper was, was really good both hands. So follow up, how, how big was it to play Yale? I mean, you guys can sleep in your own beds and just travel a short distance and this, instead of going on the road further than the Well, honestly, I'd rather we should be hosting. You yeah. know, it's been 12 years since we, we, haven't, we haven't hosted. So, uh, you know, in the end, we got to play who we got to play. So whether, whether you go on the road, like, you want us, you want to put us somewhere else and put us in a hotel this weekend, we'll be fine. Our guys were ready, we're focused. Uh, we've been we've been much better since Christmas, and I thought February was really good. And I, I think our culture's come back, and the guys are really buying in. I thought we saw that tonight. The buy-in was excellent. Talk about the first period, your your intensity kind of building off last night. Yeah, I thought we were great. You know, we had the the back door empty net goal, and we hit the post, and we just uh, and um, uh, Chris Persky. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Chris Persky made some really nice saves, and he kind of kept them in. We we had a good uh, run out of the gate there, trying to trying to go for the juggler early, but. Uh, I thought it was, uh, again, a good first period, a good 60 minutes, and uh, our compete level was, was great for the whole game. Rand Petrucelli picks up his fourth four with one of the year. He's got one goal. He's given up one goal in both playoff games. So how do you think he played tonight? I thought he was great. I thought he was confident. Uh, he handled the puck well. Yeah, he does a really good job with, with helping our breakups. Um, and that's, uh, you know, sometimes that's a, a little uh, underrated in the game of hockey. You can really limit the other team's shots if you're, if you're setting the puck. And he does a really good job of that for, for an 18, or maybe he might, might have just turned 19, but for a young kid, he does a good job of that. Brad Snively, Hitchcock, Hart, and Evan Smith were all held just one shot today. Was that a strategy going in to stop their top four goal scores, or did it just turn out that way? No, I, no, I would. I mean, we definitely were keen on Snively. We wanted to, you know, make sure uh, we were going to have layers with him. And, and every time he beats a guy, there's a second guy. And if he beats him, there's a third guy. I thought we frustrated him. Did a good job both nights. He's a, he's a great player. He's one of the better players in the country. And, uh, you know, but we want to defend against the all players. I thought our guys really took some pride in that and did, did a good job with that this weekend. Rand, for the playoffs, how important is it to have guys that have experience going to the Frozen Four, as well as guys like Tufto, you know, that have won at all levels that display that? Yeah, I mean, it always, experience always helps. You know, I, I, thought our, I thought our seniors were great tonight. They, they've been in the Frozen Four. Our juniors have been in the Frozen Four. I thought, uh, thought we did a good job with that, so it's always nice to have experience. I apologize if you answered this already, but I thought a couple of the keys. You look at four games you played Yale, you allowed five goals. I don't think Snively scored at all. But puck management was, we talked about this last week, was going to be very important heading into these two games. And, you know, for the most part, I thought that was a, a real key and a real plus for you guys. That And faceoffs as well. Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, against Yale, like they're a transition team. They counterattack really well. They're, they're very well coached. Um, and they kind of prey upon teams' mistakes. And, you know, we talked all week about puck management being, uh, you know, one of the top. You know, whether it's one or two or three, but definitely one of the keys to, to us playing well. And I thought that we managed the puck very well. I thought, uh, you know, we don't want to go off the glass and out every time, but um, sometimes, you know, the yeah, others a really good job in the forecheck, and, and, and you got to take what they give you. There's guys in the NHL making five million a year going off the glass and out. So uh, our D did a really good job with that. I thought our forwards uh, did a good job. I thought the team in general, like the shot blocking, was excellent. Last um, one, guys. And certainly, you know, for us winning faceoffs, um, you know, allows us to control the puck. Was there a reason that Shorty uh, wasn't on the line chart today? Um, I, you know, I don't want to get into that. Uh, let's just focus on the on the good part of the, the good win here. And uh, I thought Keith was great. And we had Josh backing him up, and we're, we're good to go. Okay. That's it, everyone. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep.